In this demo, we'll take a look at Checkmark's SCA, or Software Composition Analysis, which is part of the Checkmark's One application security platform. With the accelerating adoption of open source software in their applications, organizations face the challenges of securing their applications when using open source or third-party dependencies. With Checkmark Software Composition Analysis, organizations can better track, assess, and remediate their third-party package vulnerabilities and licensing risks within their projects before it's too late. Let's see how. Here we see the main user interface of Checkmarks 1, our cloud-based application security platform. We have several projects already configured along with a rating of their overall risk level. Let's take a look at a project called WebCart. This is a GitHub project I imported and configured to automatically perform a SAST and SCA scan on push and pull request events. Let's dive deeper by clicking the Results button. The beauty of Checkmark's SCA is that not only can I see a full inventory of packages my project is using, but also a complete breakdown of risks associated with those packages, whether the identified risks are detected as exploitable within my code and recommended remediation advice, leveraging Checkmark's industry-leading threat intelligence. Here I can see the SCA scan findings with a list of open source packages my project is using, whether explicitly via my package manifest or transitively via dependency for another package I've explicitly imported. I can also see whether the package is used or not, which is helpful to ensure I'm not importing any packages unnecessarily or exposed to any associated vulnerabilities of that package. It's worth noting that Checkmark's SCA supports a wide array of languages and package managers, I have the ability to sort the packages by their associated findings so I can focus on the vulnerabilities, license risk, or any other category. Switching views to the risks view, I can see all of my associated package risks broken down into four sections, vulnerability, supply chain, legal risk, and outdated. For this demo, we'll focus on the vulnerability, legal risk, and outdated risks findings. To learn more about our supply chain security offering, be sure to check out that product video. Here I see a breakdown of my overall risk exposure for my project. For each identified vulnerability, I can see the associated CVE, CWE, and CVSS score. Let's dig in on one particular result associated with the MySQL Connector Java package. Here I see a full breakdown of this vulnerability, including a detailed description, a link to the specific CVE, and even specific remediation recommendations. If I scroll down, I can see that through correlating the results of my SAS scan, Checkmark's SCA is able to identify the exploitable path of this vulnerability within my application source code. This helps me understand exactly where within my code a vulnerable method is being used, which underscores that this risk is in fact exploitable within my application. I can dig in deeper on the specific package and vulnerable versions by clicking on the vulnerable package path, where I get a full breakdown of this package, its associated licenses, and the version I'm using versus the latest available. If I click on AppSec Knowledge Center, I can see a breakdown of package versions and whether they are impacted by a known CVE. Per the AppSec Knowledge Center and the remediation advice we saw earlier, I can update this package to version 8.0.28. And rather than viewing package versions by each package, I can see a full list of outdated packages in my project, so I can ensure I'm using the latest secure versions across my entire project. Aside from package vulnerabilities and version concerns, Checkmark's SCA also captures any potential legal risk associated with the open source packages my project is importing. This is especially insightful if my project is proprietary, as I need to ensure I'm not importing any open source packages or libraries that are copied left, as doing so would violate the licensing terms of the open source packages and expose my organization to legal and reputational risk. In addition to scanning the packages in your source code itself, SCA also scans the Docker files in your project to identify the container images used and whether they have any known CVEs. And while having all of these scan results available within Checkmarks 1 is incredibly useful, I also have the option to export the results in a number of formats, such as a scan summary, a software bill of materials, or SBOM, or even an auto-remediated package manifest file. And because we can scan code at the source, we can identify these threats before it's too late. To learn more about Checkmarks SCA, visit our website or sign up for a free trial today.